Hello viewers, in this presentation we explain utility maximization and consumer's behavior. When a consumer has to maximize his total utility from the consumption of a basket of goods, the Marcellian utility analysis states that the consumer has to allocate his budget for the consumption of various commodities in such a way that the ratio of marginal utility to price of each of the commodities is equal. The Hicksian concept of consumer's behavior states that the combination of goods should be chosen in such a way that the slope of the budget line is equal to the slope of the utility function or indifference curve. In other words, the budget line should be tangent to the indifference curve as well as the indifference curve must be convex to the origin. Let the consumer consumes two commodities X and Y and his utility function is U is equal to U X Y that is equation number one. Therefore, du by dx that is derivative value of utility function u with respect to x is ux again ux is a function of x and y that is nothing but the marginal utility of x du by dy that is partial derive sorry derivative of utility function utility function u x y with respect to y is a marginal utility of y here we consider the positive marginal utility of x and y. So that is why they are greater than 0. That is equation number 2. If the price of x is px, price of y is py and the consumer budget is b, then the budget line is b is equal to x times of price of x that is px plus y times of the price of y that is py that is equation number 3. Now this is the problem of maximization of total utility u is equal to u x y subject to the budget constraint b is equal to x p x plus y p y. Therefore, such type of maximization problem requires to formulate the Lagrange function as z is equal to u x y plus lambda times of b minus x p x minus y p y that is equation number 4 this is the Lagrange function where lambda is the Lagrange multiplier. The first order condition of maximization of u that is utility u of x y subject to the budget constraint that is b is equal to x p x plus y p y requires that del z by del x that is partial derivative of Lagrange function with respect to x here we consider it is z x that should be equal to 0 del z by del y partial derivative of Lagrange function with respect to y should be equal to 0 and partial derivative of Lagrange function with respect to lambda should be greater than should be 0. Now zx that is del z by del x equal to 0 that implies we put the Lagrange function here and that is the partial derivative of u x y plus lambda times of b minus p x minus p y with respect that should be uh, pars uh, that should we take partial derivative with respect to x after differentiating we get the difference in the first portion we get u x and differentiating the second portion we get minus lambda p x that is equal to 0 and this gives lambda is equal to u x by p x that is equation number 5a. Similarly, zy that is partial derivative of z with respect to y equal to 0 gives here we put the z function and defined by differentiating we get uy minus lambda times of py equal to 0 
and this gives lambda is equal to e y by p y equation number 5 b z lambda that is partial derivative of z that is Lagrange function with respect to lambda is equal to 0 gives here also we put the Lagrange function after differentiating we get b minus x p x minus y p y equal to 0 that is equation number 5 c therefore from equation 5a and 5b we get lambda is equal to ux by px equal to ey by py that is equation number 6 equation 6 states that the first order condition of utility maximization requires that the ratio of marginal utilities of x and y that is ux and ey to their prices should be equal and this is nothing but the Marcellian condition of consumer's equilibrium. Now, equation 6 can be rearranged as minus ey by ux, sorry, minus ux by ey equal to minus px by py. That is by taking the ey portion in left hand side and px portion in the right hand side, we get and putting the negative sign we get minus ux by ey equal to minus px by py that is negative of the ratio of marginal utilities of x and y is equal to the negative of the ratio of prices of x and y that is equation number 7 taking total Differential of utility function u is equal to u x y, we get d u that is change in u d u is equal to marginal utility of x that is u x times of the change in x that is d x plus marginal utility of y times of the change in y d that is d y. So, we get d u is equal to u x into d x plus e y into d y utility on an indifference curve of utility function u equal to u x y does not change and so d u that is change in u is equal to 0 and we have u x d x plus e y d y equal to 0 that is change in that is marginal utility of x multiplied by this change in x that is dx plus marginal utility of y multiplied by the change in y dy is equal to 0. Therefore, we rearrange we may rearrange it dy by dx is equal to minus ux by ey that is nothing but the slope of indifference curve. The budget line b equal to x px plus y py can be rearranged as y is equal to b by py minus px by py into x where minus px by py is the slope of the budget line. The equation 7 states that minus ux by ui is equal to minus px by py where minus ux by ui is nothing but the slope of indifference curve minus py by py is nothing but the slope of budget line and both are equal. So, this can be explained with the help of a diagram. Here we put this is a two dimensional diagram where horizontal line is for commodity x and vertical line is for the commodity y. This is the indifference curve. This is the budget line. This is the point where the budget line is tangent to the indifference curve. So, corresponding to point E, we get minus ux by ui is equal to minus px by py, that is, slope of indifference curve is equal to slope of budget line. And corresponding to point E, we get the equilibrium level of consumption of x is as x bar and equilibrium level of commodity of y as a y bar.
the second order condition of maximization of utility function u is equal to u x y subject to budget constraint requires that the de determinant value of border Hessian 2 should be greater than 0. The determinant value of border Hessian is nothing but border Hessian 2 is nothing but determinant value of 0 z x z y z x z x x z x y z y z y x z y y. From equation 5a and 5b we get z x x that is second order partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to u x x z x y is the second order partial derivative of z that is Lagrange function with respect to x and y we get u x y z y x that is second order partial derivative of Lagrange function z with respect to y and x we get u y x and z y y that is second order partial derivative of z function or Lagrange function with respect to y we get u y y from equation 3 we get z x as a partial derivative of budget b with respect to x equal to p x and z y that is partial derivative of b that is budget line with respect to y that is del b by del y is equal to p y now putting all this information in border Hessian determinant we get is a determinant of 0 p x p y p x u x x u x y p y u y x u y y that should be greater than 0. Now evaluating this determinant we get this line. So that is equal to nothing but minus p square x u y y plus p x p y u x y plus p x p y u y x minus p square y u x x that should be greater than 0 since u x y is equal to u y x. So we write these two line these two portion is the same or by these two portion as a 2 times of p x p y u x y minus p square y u x x minus p square y u y y that should be greater than 0. That is equation number 8. Since the indifference curve should be convex to the origin at the point of consumer's equilibrium, the necessary condition of convexity of utility function u x y is that second order derivative of y with respect to x should be greater than 0. Now, d square y by dx square is nothing but the derivative of dy by dx with respect to x. Again dy by dx is nothing but minus x by sorry uh, dy by dx is nothing but minus ux by uy that is ratio of marginal to of x and marginal to y and by applying the question rule we get this that is equal to 1 by u square y into u y d u x that is derivative of u x with respect to d x minus u x into derivative of u y with respect to x. Again u x that is marginal utility of x is a is a function of x and y and marginal utility of y is also a function of x and y. So we write it this way and we got after differencing the marginal utility function of x a we get this line so from this we get this one and from this we get this one and that is equal to this and that is equal to this because dy by dx is nothing but minus p x by p y. So, after 
putting the values of dy by dx we get the, this line so here this taking again taking u x equal to u y p x from equation 6 we can write the equation is this where this u x is equal to u y into p x by p y after removing the internal brackets we get this one by taking the common e y in numerator n p square y as a lcm we get this since p y p p x p y u y x is equal to p x p y u x y we may write this term as this after cancelling the numerator e y by the denominators e y squares we get minus 1 by e y into p square y u x x minus 2 times of p x p y u y x plus p square x u y y divided by p square y. So, since these two are same, so that is why we get 2 times and finally, we get d square y by d x square is equal to 2 times of p x p y u y x minus p square y into u x x minus p square x u y y divided by e y into p square y. Here, the numerator portion is nothing but the determinant value of border is in 2 and that is found from equation number 8 and so we get d square y by d x square is equal to the ratio of the determinant value of border is in 2 and u x into p square y since board, board, border is in that is h 2 Hessian determinant 2 is greater than 0 and marginal utility of x and marginal utility of y and price of x both all are positive. So, that is why d square y by dx square is greater than 0. So, we get d square y by d x square is greater than 0 that is equation number 9 and this states that at the point of consumer's equilibrium, the shape of indifference curve is convex to the origin. Thus, Hixian concept of consumer's equilibrium states that at the point of consumer's equilibrium, the slope of indifference curve should be equal to the slope of budget line, which is given in equation number 7, and the shape of indifference curve is convex to the origin, that is explained by in equation number 7 sorry in equation number 9 so this is where we can we explain the consumers behavior and the utilization utility maximization problem in terms of Hixian concept and Marcellian concept thank you